men's college basketball, Syracuse and Providence. Brought to you by Bud Light, the light beer with the first name and taste. Everything else is just a light. Welcome back to our college basketball doubleheader night here on ESPN. A big night for us on ESPN. College basketball game number 1,000. This they were going to put contact lenses on that basketball in honor of Dick Vitale. He's been with ESPN for most of them. Well, indeed. 1,000 college games and look forward to 1,000 more. Starting lineups for this one, let's go right now to our public address announcer, Ray Bagley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Providence Civic Center, home of the Providence College Friars. Tonight, the Friars entertain the Orange Men of Syracuse University in a game aired nationally by ESPN. Here are our starting lineups. Playing it forward from Syracuse, number 44, 6'9 freshman from Detroit, Michigan, Derek Coleman. At forward from Providence, number 15, 6'7 senior from Kitchener, Ontario, David Kipfer. At forward from Syracuse, number 25, 6'5", senior from Syracuse, New York, Howard Critch. From Providence, number 23, 6'4", senior from Germantown, Pennsylvania, Trinity Pop Lewis. At center, from Syracuse, number 4, 6'10", junior from Athens, Greece, Ron Cycli. Number 44, 6'9", Jr., from Syracuse, New York, Steve Wright. At guard, from Syracuse, number 11, 6'3", Sr., from Rochester, New York, Greg Monroe. From Providence, number 12, 6'4", Jr., from Michigan City, Indiana, Delray Brooks. At guard, from Syracuse, number 20, six-foot sophomore from Washington, D.C., Sherman Douglas. And at guard from Providence, number 34, six-one senior from Rockville Center, New York, Billy Donovan. The head coach of the Orange Men, Jim Beheim. The head coach of the Friars, Rick Patino. And we are set for Big East basketball coming up here on ESPN. The Providence College Friars looking to upset Syracuse. We'll be back in a minute. Everybody, there you see Syracuse, 12 and 0, keys to winning, Bill. Well, Providence is going to go after them from the beginning of the game to the end, so they've got to make sure they penetrate against the traps. And, of course, the three-point play, either in zone or man-to-man, -man, they, they're going to go up on Delray Brooks and Billy Donovan. All right, for Providence College, what do they need to do? Well, that looks low, 40% from three-point range. If they can do that, Syracuse limits people at 25% per game. If they can get to 40, they can win this game. They've got to develop just a little inside game to set up Donovan and Brooks. All right, Sherman Douglas has really emerged as a fine, fine guard for the Syracuse club. A lot of people thought once Washington left, what are they going to do? There has been no break in the action at all as Sherman Douglas has filled in nicely. Sherman Douglas helping officiate Jimmy Burr over St. White Ball. And Rick Pitino, as you can see, up quickly, and now they are calling it White Ball. It'll be Providence College basketball. Feels better. <laughs> He's at home. He's got to get those calls at the beginning, right? Man to man. Douglas very quick on Billy Donovan. There's Delray Brooks down in the corner. He'll shoot the three-pointer from down there. Monroe's got a tip for steps. No foul, slightly. I thought he walked before. You saw the overplay inside. The concern mostly this evening would be the inside people. Steve Wright, Ronnie Sykley. Ronnie Sykley, a history of fouling. And of course, Steve Wright gets a couple fouls early as well. Kipfer set at the free throw line. Kipfer, a 6'7", 212-pound senior, as we look at Jim Beheim. 
talking with the reserves on the Syracuse bench. Kip Farad of Kitchener, Ontario, has really been a pleasant surprise for Providence College. He might be their strongest inside player, Bill. Well, he and Donovan epitomize what Rick Pitino's tried to do here. Shake it up, go all out, dive on the floor. They personify the Providence team. Pressure right away. There will be pressure all night long from Providence College. Just underway, and Syracuse breaks it nicely to Trish. Off Steve Wright's leg, out of bounds. It'll be Syracuse ball. Mike, 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Howard Trish, the glue on this Syracuse team. He's a solid player. Syracuse went right over the top to him. Monroe to inbound, the freshman Coleman. Now Trish takes the pass, takes it right in. That is exactly what Providence College needs to stop. Syracuse hitting the offensive board cycling the first two. That's a size goal, a concern of the Providence coaches rebounding. They have to bang, put bodies on the Syracuse people. Syracuse still in a fairly aggressive man-to-man. -man. Donovan, good look for Kipfer. Oh, Billy the Kid. He can see the floor as well as shoot. Loose ball picked off by Monroe in the forecourt. Fires up a deuce here early. There's Douglas forcing one up. Donovan the rebound. Fires looking to run, and they will. Brooks Blake gave it up early. For three. Cycle he clears. Well, they had Sherman Douglas deep. Cycle he's just not in position to release. Right, Douglas will pull it back out and set it up. 2-3 match. By match, you mean, Bill? In the area, if a man comes in, they're assigned to play a specific area on the floor. Cycle in the paint. Derek Coleman with that hand down in there. You can see the size differential in there, so they could bend over, really stick that backside into the Syracuse people. They can cause some problems. This might be the first game this year that the first two fouls of the game have been on the opposition and not Providence College. Uh, you were telling me they like the bank people, huh? They're averaging about 27 fouls a game. I guess Pittsburgh shot 47. Kipfer underneath. Oh. Good move with the left hand. I saw the big guy. Had no choice. Excellent shot. Kipfer with all six in the Flyers by four. And the crowd here in Providence very early into this game. The freshman Coleman. Kipfer knocked it out of bounds. Syracuse will keep it. That was man-to-man -man full. Coleman likes to play against man-to-man. -man. He has problems against the zone, according to Jim Beheim. He isn't in the flow when the opponent plays his own. Coleman, a very confident freshman out of Detroit. Both Monroe and Douglas will run the show. Monroe, a lot of stability for Douglas, the sophomore. Trish will try. Excellent penetration by Sherman Douglas. Coleman, and I've only seen him a few times, of course, last year in the McDonald's All-Star Game, reminds me a little bit of Tom Stith. He do a lot of things, shoot out, hang, put the ball on the floor. The old St. Bonnie's great. Lewis outside, that's just two. Pressure right away. as you see, will get back very quickly off that pressure and get into the matchup zone Bill talked about. Monroe can't hit. Oh, Trish, a nice offensive board, and Coleman's there. Impressive up front early. Even if they got the fouls, there's the big people that are mobile. Rick Pitino is going to go for some size off his bench as Yasek Duda is up at the scorer's table. Good help here. Coleman the block on Kipfer. Oh, front and back, you got Cycli looking in your face, and Derek Coleman lurking in the background. Lurking, indeed he was. Syracuse over the years, people don't think they're a good man-to-man -man team, but they know how to guard at that end. Excellent help here. You saw the three-quarter post and Coleman helping out. Providence College will go to their bench and go there off, and the freshman Marty Conlon, the senior Yasek Duda, and another freshman with the ball, Carlton Screen, all in the ball game now. Nice. Donovan, good feed. Beautiful penetration. Billy split the trap. Smart play by Donovan. Donovan yet to score, but two dandy assists, and the Friars are up by four.
Rick Pitino wisely going with some size, Mike. They got to do a better job on the glass. Quick turnaround, Sightly, and he knocks it home. Now, Ronnie, according to Beheim, has improved his offense. He doesn't feel he's jumping as well because of that bad foot. Donovan got it. Trish quickly to the forecourt, but again, you watch Providence. They will get back up the floor on defense. Harmon, the freshman, with the rebound. Donovan looks to run. Good move around Douglas. A pretty look again, Mike. And sent back at the freshman Conlon, but the foul is going to go, let's see, either on Coleman or Cycli. It's going to be Coleman. I just love guys who make a pass off the shot. Here he's got the jumper, spots the cutter, Marty Conlon, the fumble, but great look by Donovan. He's been very creative early. Rick Pitino wanted to get that front line of Syracuse in foul trouble if he could, and Derek Coleman, the freshman you see there, already has picked up two. Marty Conlon, the 6'10 freshman out of the Bronxville, New York. Very aggressive offensive player. Don't let that uh, thin frame fool you. You see Delray Brooks coming back in. Billy Donovan goes out. Donovan will Rodney be out Walker, long, excuse me, Bill, in the game for Syracuse. No, I don't think Donovan will be out for long. Either. We've got a timeout on the floor. 15:44 to go here in Providence. They're up six. Providence College off quickly here on their home court, 14 to eight over the number five ranked team in the country, the Syracuse Orangemen. Delray Brooks, the trip from Michigan City High School in Indiana to Providence did have a stop along the way, Bill. Well, we hear there's no animosity either way. I mean, the feedback is Delray just won an open type of game, but Bobby getting his point across. Bobby does. But Delray Brooks is a content player here at Providence College, and since he came back about three weeks ago when he became eligible, Rick Pitino and his staff have done a lot of work with Delray Brooks. Some had said Delray Brooks was not a very good shooter. He has turned into an excellent three-point shooter so far this season for Providence College, and you can see the Friars hot at home. And not too many deep shots. No. Most of them have been penetrating and dump-offs. Trish will take it. Cycli again, the easy follow on the offensive board. Well, on the matchup, you're going to have small forwards trying to screen out the big guy on occasion. That's what happened that time. Screen and Douglas bump. The officials let him play. They go screen to the hoop. It's hit by Walker. And a foul is called. The freshman Carlton screen, not shot. They make, uh, they give this to Trish. But what I like about Syracuse defensively is how they get to the basketball. A disbelieving Jim Beheim. They're just very active at the point of attack. They'll go right to it. At the freshman screen, he'll step to the line for two, looking to give the Friars a six-point lead. Carlton Screen out of Zavarian High School. Who else went to Zavarian High School? <laughs> Christopher. Knocking him dead in Oakland. Chris the Warriors. School. Chris Mullen. And both Billy Donovan back in as Bill said he would be pretty quickly. 15-19 to go first half. Gordy Chiesa said that's the greatest transformation since Lazarus. Billy Donovan. <laughs> He's made himself a player. Cycli a little further away from the hoop there. Ronnie Cycli wants to handle the ball. They just saw Pop Lewis on Cycli. That he would have had to check him out. Trish throws up the leaner count it, and the foul is going to go on Billy Donovan. Now, Trish has found himself in open spots. Hasn't been able to convert a couple, but that time, he's an intelligent player. He can penetrate, and you'll see the good offensive rebounding position here. You got Cycli on one box, turning the screen Conlon off. If it came long, he's got it. None of it riding him. Excellent shot selection by Syracuse. Well, last year with Alexis, Addison, Pearl, and Cycli, Trish was always kind of just that other guy, but uh, he's had a 30-plus game already this year, so he has shown that he can be a scorer. Steps. Good call. Syracuse with the man-to-man. -man. Beheim mentioned to us that he would play some 2-3 and extend the zone, and you got your 
friend in there, huh? No, Steve, Steve Thompson just Thompson. checked in the ball game, the Los Angeles High School Player of the Year the last couple of years. Personable kid, he was saying to us, he's adjusting to the weather up north. <laughs> A little different than California, I guess. Syracuse hasn't run that high-low that they're so good at. Not a bad look, just a tough catch. The pass was a little low, yeah, really. Yeah, was a tough one to much shot at that. But they run a high-low where you get it to the foul and they look down underneath. You may see that if their offense is ineffective. Trish out aggressively on Lewis, and now Thompson will chase Delray Brooks on the baseline. Good ball reversal. Donovan for three. Got it. It was all set up by Syracuse permitting the ball to switch sides of the floor. A seven-point prior lead here with 14 minutes straight up to play first half. Steve Thompson being converted to guard, according to Beheim, played a lot of forward in high school at Crenshaw. Cycle, he wants it. Out of Shamsa Dean, the freshman, was right there, but a foul is called. There he is, number 25, Abdul Shamsa Dean. This kid is an athlete. We know his skills need some work, but he really runs the floor for a 6'10 player. Tottenville High School only played two years, took the commuter train up to Cardinal Hayes for two years. They didn't even know he was up there. I believe his name at that time was Jeffrey Smith, and he changed it for family or religious purposes. So he's got a lot of basketball to learn. Sherman Douglas goes and sits down beside Jim Beheim. Greg Monroe back in the game. Cycle with eight points. A leading Syracuse scorer, but his club down five, as you see. Walker's got Donovan in a switch. Conlon left open. Brooks will try for three. <laughs> Again, the pick and roll, and then they reverse the ball. Syracuse got to stop it out top. Otherwise, they're going to be beaten by the long bombs. Twice this year, Providence College has attempted more than 30 three-point field goals in the game. So this is very much a part of their offense as they see it. My kind of philosophy. Tee it up. And in traffic. Tough shot. Cycle again. As nobody has Ronnie Cycle on the weak side. Very hard in a matchup to know your checkout responsibilities. Ten points for Cycle here in the early going. Sean said D. Traveling violation called by Tom Frame. He looked good, though, gathering himself. Here you see Rick Pitino, who has won 63% of his games as a college coach and really has revitalized basketball again here in the Providence, Rhode Island area. You have to buy the program here, don't you, Providence? He runs them in and out like Dr. Tom Davis used to. Exactly. And is doing now at Iowa. Lewis up aggressively on Greg Monroe. Monroe, one of the Syracuse co-captains. Greg Walker, man. did he walk with it? No uh, foul is gone. We're not going to count the goal, but good gathering there. Rodney, who's been struggling, according to Coach Beheim. Big guy, though, 6'9". More depth, I believe, on the Syracuse club than I've seen in a few years. Foul was on Dave Kipfer. Syracuse during that uh, Addison, Alexis, Pearl Washington years. I mean, they really did. Those guys were on the court a lot. Well, you'd want them on the floor a lot, though. You would. Cycle in and out this time, but he tracks down the loose ball rebound. Much more confident. Yes, he is a confident oh. offensive player now, isn't he? Chris, he had that foot in the cast, stress fracture. I asked him if the girl signed it. He said, no, it was fiberglass. He said he couldn't get a break. Inside, good nice. move as he got right in the air, and Wright will be charged with the foul. Excellent post move. Ronnie Cycle using his head. Again, the matchup, you have area responsibilities. He'll dip into the three-second lane, shape up, extend the hands. He actually could have stepped right to the goal if he chose to. Steve Wright, the Providence center, has had foul trouble this year. First free throw Cycle has missed him. Ronnie, who is from Athens, Greece, really is getting a late start on a basketball career, but it looks like he has a great basketball career in front of him. 
Do you see Sherman Douglas back into the ball game for Syracuse? Thompson, the freshman, is going to sit down. At halftime, Rick Pitino is going to be diagramming their matchup. They are not doing a good job. They're permitting a lot of easy shots and Get rebounds. Her. I believe you got Kipfer going over the top yeah. as well there. Syracuse with everybody down the floor. You can see from the high camera. That can present problems. It keeps the defense in. Almost got a five-second call. Nice head work there, Roger. Sure was. Yeah. I used to worry when the big guys took the ball out. I was afraid they'd hit somebody in the fourth row. Trish comes back to help us immediately trapped. Likely very active, busting for the basketball. Man to man, straight. Loop it to Walker, good pass. Walker will take it, short with it, right is there. The big guys feel they have to shoot it when they get it that close. If you're gonna force it, throw it back out. Makes for such good basketball and confidence with one another. You see Donovan, the good look for Conlon. Rebound Walker quickly to Monroe. Syracuse looks to run. Cycle, on a wing and it's ripped out. Good hustle by Delray Tremendous Brooks. Tremendous effort. He may have been the last guy and got to the basketball. Cycle with a good run as well. Excellent hustle by Delray Brooks. 11.44 to play here first half. The lead's five. In Providence, Rhode Island, Mike Gorman along with Bill Raftery. 11.44 to play in the first half, and the Providence College Friars looking to upset the fifth-ranked Syracuse Orangemen. They're up by five right now, 22-17. Providence on the offensive end, Mike, and Rick Pitino has to be delighted, able to get the ball where they would like. And I thought when Syracuse came out man-to-man, -man, they would take Billy Donovan and Delray Brooks out of the game somewhat, but I believe the loss in Pittsburgh, where Billy Donovan did assert himself at times, and the coaching and the meetings after have made him penetrate, made him be more aggressive on the offensive end. Derek Coleman, with those two fouls, has come back into the game for Syracuse. He's out there with Trish cycling Monroe. Straight and Douglas, or Jim Beheim, basically back to his starting five. Straight man-to-man. Cycling -man. wants to go on right, good up fake again. Won't get out for him, though, and it's picked off by Conlon, and he lost it out of bounds. You know, Cycli is so free, he's trying to force it into the basket. Just stroke the ball, Ronnie. Trish will try baseline. There's the rebounding of Syracuse. Coleman, the stuff and a foul. He actually went across from his box and wiped Ronnie Cycli out. Exactly. That's the freshman, aggressive nature. This you don't teach. Ronnie, get out of the way. I'm coming in. Whew. Providence, I would think, though, Bill, is going to get care. on that offensive or their defensive board a little better. They don't bang you like that in Athens, Greece. Right with the rebound. It's a three-point game. Providence had pulled out early and looked in control, but Syracuse now very much back in this. Near steal by Douglas. Conlon gets it back. Syracuse is going to get the basketball. Bad pass. Too much traffic. Down right. Being chastised by Coach Patino, and rightfully so. There you see Yasek Duda in the ball game. Here comes Douglas quickly, and it's picked off by Duda. Off to Donovan, stolen by Douglas, loose on the floor. Good hustle by Cycli. And this time Providence will get it. Nice hustle by Ronnie Cycli, though. Nice to see the big guy getting down, getting yeah, some is. blood, putting the trainer to work. Not a good look ahead there by Sherman Douglas. Never saw it. It's like a, the safety in football. You got to read. Providence now with three players. Darrell Wright, 41, far side. He'll throw it up in three-point range, too. Here's the zone. Two, three. You'll see the guards up further than normal in his zone and the wing people. Which will open up the inside. Gets it back, tries to go to the hoop. Brooks for three. Trish quickly off to Monroe. Orange want to run. Nice feed, Coleman. Now that's the organized break that Jimmy enjoys. It's not mayhem. 
fill the lanes, intelligent, and not a charge at the end on Billy Donovan. Syracuse now down just one. Conlon walked with the ball in the lane. His mind was ahead of his feet. Again, Marty Conlon is very aggressive in the he, lane as an offensive player. I mean, he looks to take a, it up. Not, excellent. You can see, though, that whole chalk area in the three-second lane wide open. They can bounce it, get it wherever they like. If they could get some hoops, it'll open up the guards. Douglas had Cycli on a wing, finally got it to him. The rebound pulled down underneath by Delray Brooks. He'll bring it up himself. Good move around Douglas at half court. Good pump faking. You notice the Friars, especially on this long shot. You watch them when they come up in the break. They all pull up at that three-point line. They really do. Duda hits a hook on the baseline. They, they can sneak baseline. They can get a lot inside. Just a matter of converting. Oh. The alley-oop for Cycli. That's going to be a goal 10. Score two. That was up there a long time. Ronnie didn't know what to do with it. But he is getting down the floor, Cycli. Excellent speed. He's a, a terrific athlete. Again, the offensive end, Ronnie has improved. Look Good speed the by Conlon. Duda stopped from behind by Cycli. Gets it back. Another try. Conlon, the tip won't go. Trish battles underneath. Loose. Trish goes to the floor for it. It'll be Syracuse ball. Oh, and the officials are letting him play. I love it. They are teeing off against one another, and nothing dirty. Good, aggressive basketball. They've been able to get the ball inside. You see, not a big team inside. Province not a great jumping team, but on the floor, it's their ball. Excellent pursuit. Howard Trish smiled and turned to Tom Frame and held up three fingers and said, three times I was fouled on that. <laughs> Syracuse looking for their first lead of the night with nine minutes to go first half. Good smart play. Trish had caught the screen, begged for the ball. Monroe, a good fake, takes the ball away, and he got it. First bucket for Greg Monroe, the Syracuse backcourt. Those are the first points out of the Syracuse backcourt. And here's a green light on any three-point shot he wants. The only player on Syracuse steps again. Conlon the travel. Now he's trying to do too much right now. He knows the moves. Just be patient. He can get every move he wants in that lane. Syracuse is up on the Providence guards. Derek Coleman, the freshman, is going to inbound against the pressure. There you see the backcourt scoring right now. Providence right on track for a big night. Syracuse a little off at this point. Not their way off at this point. They have got the lead now by one, and they've got the ball with 85 to go in the first half. The crowd didn't get the call they wanted. Howard's getting the shots he would like, unable to convert. Carlton screen, good little stutter step move, a better pass, and... They should score the goal, too. They are going to give a foul to Ronnie Cycli, and let's see whether Tom Frame is going to score the goal. You think he agrees with them? <laughs> Ronnie Cycli helping out in the penetration early on by the Providence guards has set all of this up. All basketball. Gorgeous play. They just don't like to leave the big guys in the game. That's two on Cycli. Coleman also has two for Syracuse. There you see Ronnie Cycli is used to going up and getting it. Abdul Shamsa Dean, the freshman, misses the first. Now you have to admire Derek Coleman being on the floor with the two and Jimmy Beheim's confidence in him. Yep. A freshman say, hey, don't get the third. And of course, Cycli now the rest with number two. 13 points go to the bench with Ronnie Cycli. Major League rebound oh, made by oh, Derek Coleman. I don't want to play one-on-one -on -one with him. Took about three pounds out of the ball and he squeezed it. Syracuse still some trouble holding on to the ball. Nice move there by Douglas, and that is his first bucket of the night. Nice run by Syracuse. They've been able to get the shots they want. Now it's a matter of putting them down. Now Providence is going to have to continue to look for the good shot and get it on the offensive end. Douglas walked with it that time. I thought he had Greg Monroe, and 
Providence recovered in transition extremely well. Took away the passing lane. We've got 7.45 left to play here first half. The Orange are up by three. An early Providence College lead has disappeared as the Syracuse Orangemen now back in front. And there is the fine young freshman Derek Coleman of Syracuse. <laughs> Well, you can get so much out of a dribble when used wisely. Greg Monroe getting in deep, but uh, he's as good as they said. And Jimmy yes, Beheim, yes, he is. king of the understatement, I said, how's Coleman? He said, he's all right. I said, well, when is he going to be ready? I said, a year or two? He said, the end of the year. I mean, a freshman. I didn't know you did voices too, Bill. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, Jimmy wins 25, still has the same expression. Carlton Screen and Billy Donovan in the backcourt right now for Providence College. Lewis, Duda, and Conlon. There's Conlon again in the middle. He got rid of it quickly this time. Good ball movement. Duda, baseline, out of bounds. Lewis got a piece of it. Douglas, Monroe, Coleman, Trish, and Derek Brower on the floor right now for Syracuse. They're up three with the ball. Nice steal. Now, this is one of the times Sherman Douglas got caught. They have been inbounding with a loop. Syracuse caught a break there. Uh, they Donovan. called the walk? No, oh, Donovan my. just stepped on the end line. Oh, what a break. I thought Douglas had hit him. They've been inbounding by going to the big people. Brower that time helping out. Coleman handles it against the pressure. What doesn't he do, he Bill? He do a little bit of everything. Douglas sent back at him by Duda. Good hustle by Duda, but he couldn't quite get it. Syracuse will maintain control. He's smooth. Derek Coleman just strides like a player. And you see Duda, who's become a player too. Yasik's a good story. Yeah, through Rick the, Pitino's diligent defected, efforts. Defected from Poland, played for the Polish national junior team. Now lives in Central Falls here, Rhode Island, and he's a very happy young man to be out on the floor playing basketball in Providence, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. Gives them two centers, and I guess they have 15 fouls, according to Patino, at that spot. Rick will tell you I have 15 fouls in the middle. That's what he'll say. I don't necessarily have centers. I have 15 fouls. Brower inside. Steve Thompson, the other prime freshman for Syracuse, is also in the game now in place of Douglas. Back to the matchup. Looking to go inside to Coleman, it would appear. He's got Conlon on him there from a minute ago. Derek Brower won't go, gets it back. Off Donovan's hands, out of bounds, Syracuse ball. Syracuse either anxious or Providence rushing them a little. They can't seem to finish some of these sequences. Providence makes you rush because they, uh, they come at you with the rush. Natty. Yeah, Natty. That's... We're not saying they're good guesses, right? They're just <laughs> Natty. There's Brower inside. Can't Wants to it. overpower Conlon. Conlon comes away with the rebound, though. Can't get the ball inside that easily. It's got to hurt Providence down the road. 2-3. Syracuse out high. Opens all of this up inside. Duda just barely avoided the travel. Lewis swallowed up in the corner. Delray Brooks, a runner. And another rebound by Coleman. Monroe, the senior co-captain now, will set it up for Syracuse. Have been stuck in three-point lead, but Providence has not been able to answer on the other end. Conlon clears. Here comes Brooks. Lewis will try for three. Now they had three people behind the three-point line. They are taking advantage of the rule. They don't feel confident with an inside game. And they don't mind teeing it up deep. Nice, nice cut. Oh, good look, but I think we've got a foul. Is it a block or a charge? It's a charge. Excellent. Uh, Providence did the only thing left. They were beaten. Offer your body up. Duda coming out on the ball a little bit late ooh, there, Pop ooh, Lewis. Ooh, 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 ooh. Play on. Well, that's why you play at home. <laughs> you see Ronnie Cycli back into the Syracuse lineup now. He will anchor Trish and Coleman in the middle. 
Douglas and Monroe back at the guard spots. Down and through by Billy Dunn. Boy, they're getting it where they want inside. They sure did. Dean. Abdul Shasin Dean. I've got to say it once. I'll handle it the rest of the night, okay? Friars grabbed the lead back again. Ooh. Douglas, a little high dribble. Nice pass. Basket's going to count to Cycli. The foul will go on Shamsid Dean. Uh, it shouldn't have counted. It was a palm out at half court well, okay. by Sherman Douglas, but... Ronnie likes to point up there. Look at the icon. He's ready. Running start. Get it up. As noted, quite an athlete. Cycle having his best offensive night of the season. 15 first half points. Make it 16. You hear coaches always say big guys take a while. And basketball fans wonder what they're talking about. It's just it takes an effort to get everything coordinated for them. And once they do, then they can do the things that Ronnie Cycli's doing. He's got a long way to go, too. He's pretty darn good right now. Dave Snedeker losing the ball for Providence. Here comes a three-on-one break. Alley-oop, calling for two! Oh. <laughs> that was worth the trip up here. And Greg Monroe got out of the lane, and here's the first from the state. You get pumped up with the jam, come back and get number three. Silly. The freshman Derek well, Coleman with the foul. However, let's go back the other way. That's part of growing up. But Greg Monroe stopped to let Coleman fill the lane on the right. He just said, go get him, Derek. That <laughs> kid is a player. Oh, is he? They should have a seven foul rule for us now, just so we can see him. Jimmy saying, great play at the one end. You can't lose Freshman control play of the, the other. emotions. Yeah. Exactly. At Delray Brooks, as you see, a 77% free throw shooter at the line. And a chance now to get his Friars back to within one with 4.19 to play here first half. First game of our doubleheader tonight on ESPN. Big Monday nights of basketball. You know, without Coleman, they might get a little more out of their press. And he can jump, so he can... Douglas unable to hit outside. Not a good shot either. Conlon's doing a job for Providence College on the defensive board. He is the only one who has done a good job on that board. Lewis had a thought for three. Donovan penetrates. Great good board. feed. Steps. Not a bad move either. Donovan got penalized. Great penetration. It's Syracuse by one. You probably thought that Mike and I were crazy when we were talking about three-point defense. Watch the reaction of Syracuse on each player out in the perimeter. Kick to the corner, Delray Brooks out on him by Trish. Everybody that touches the ball on this Providence team has somebody in their face. They force the travel, but Billy Donovan has made some gorgeous passes. And hey, don't forget, stick around at halftime with us. Bob Lee will be by talking about the fine freshman playing up at Syracuse. Scores and highlights from around the country. And a preview of the second half of our doubleheader tonight, Michigan and Purdue. Mike Patrick and Dick Vitale standing by. Out at Purdue, getting ready for that one, and we've got a dandy here. 32-31. Syracuse by one. Donovan rebounds at Trishness. Donovan pushes it up, finds Lewis for three. Well, it's, it's like a set play. They know exactly where they're supposed to go, and of course, Billy Donovan enjoyed at getting it to them. Really rounded his game. Douglas, a runner. Good call. Blocking foul. Billy Donovan jumping in underneath. Rick can't believe it over the sideline. He's down like Yogi Berra. <laughs> but just an excellent call. Rick will check the tapes and agree with us. On Donovan, that is two. We talked about how much the Providence College Friars depended upon three-point shooting. There you see it. Four of seven, 57 percent. Bill, one of your keys. Anything over 40, they win the ball game. And, any, and you know, a lot of they would have a lot more, except for Syracuse reacting yes. so well. 
He also talked, Bill, in your keys about how the Syracuse backcourt only five points total out of Sherman Douglas and Greg Monroe here in the first half. Make it six. Yeah, the preparation that goes into these games, and everybody knows what the other club is trying to do, so they try and take it away. It's what you do as a second choice that helps you win games. Donovan on the bench, Rick Pitino not wanting him to pick up a third foul. Carl the screen, the freshman. You can see the three to two guards and the small forward all around on the three-point line. Arnland, deep rebound. Harid, who just checked into the ball game, and Brooks is going to pick up the foul. Delray Brooks coming in late. I don't think they wanted Marty to take that long one. That's just the first on Delray Brooks. However, the fire is over the limit, and we're going to walk back up and shoot some more free throws. Herman Harid will be at the line. Providence, the coaches felt they'd have to put a lot of bodies, be aggressive, take it to Syracuse. That's easier said than done against a quick team with all the athletes. You can't get close to them to put yep. the body on them. That's true. Harid, a fine player down at Dunbar High School in Baltimore. I asked him about Coach Wade. He's happy for him in Maryland that he watched the state game. And uh, of course they got beat, they played well, and followed his old high school coach. Man, that foul is going to be over the top, I believe, on Howard Trish as he tried to get in there and steal a rebound. He's sort of mad at himself. Should be. Not good judgment. He's not shooting as well as he's capable of. Had a lot of shots he'd like to take over. 52% shooter on the year. That's a good look at Marty Conlon, the Providence College freshman. He is a nice offensive ball player and he's going to get a lot better. Another year or so, those moves that he had problems with early in the game, he's going to finish. You see, he's got a nice stroke at the free throw line. He's an 80% free throw shooter on the year. Cycle back to help out. Stolen by Screen. Puts it up. And he's fouled. I don't know how he got the shot off, but that's where they need Coleman. You've got Ronnie Cycling coming all the way to bail out to make sure there isn't a five-second violation, and he just couldn't control the basketball. Cycling going back to half court, doing what all big guys should do. And here coming down, fumbling. And I don't know how Screen got this one off. Great hang time. Well, Screen was hurt a good part of the early season. Didn't play until late December, but going to be a valuable addition to this Providence College Club as we are now into the Big East season. Another one of those stress fractures you hear so much about lately. How come we never had any of those before, Bill? I don't understand that. You're afraid to get hurt. Douglas up quickly, coast to coast. Nice feed for Monroe. It won't go. Just aggressive. Delray rebound. Brooks, a big rebound, and he's out of the pack himself. And the foul is going to go on Sherman Douglas. That was one of those unfortunate situations. Delray Brooks was trying to get to the center of the floor. Sherman Douglas just got caught. And the joint is jumping here in Providence. A look at Jim Beheim talking things over with Douglas. Brooks will be at the free throw line. Five first half points so far for Delray Brooks. You saw the Blues brother looking like there. He's got one of Dave Gavitt's old suits. Commissioner of the Big East. The Friar lead is four. Providence led early. Syracuse came back, seemed to take control midway in this first half, but now Providence is right back at it. One thing about pressure, you keep coming after teams as Providence is, things will come your way if you're good at it. Matchup. Douglas will try. Hit it! Just two, says Jim Burr. Six now for Douglas, who seems to be heating up his offensive game a bit. There's Conlon with those moves inside, Get sent back one. at him. Providence will maintain control. Much better there. He was under control. Used his pivot foot wisely. How many freshmen you know, though, who get the ball in the paint, and, I mean, they're gone to the hoop. And he's, he's not just... afraid at all. No. Not concerned about the size inside. Give him a new 45. That's yeah. what the concern was. 
Duda got a nice spot. Won't go down. Loose ball right to screen. They play. Brooks for three. Ooh. They just keep going after you, Providence. They had no right to come up with that loose basketball. Delray Brooks now with nine. Providence by five. Look at them go after you. Great step in by Pop Lewis. In the middle, screen on the break. Screen will take and sent back by Tribbounds. Nice defensive play by Howard Trish on the other end. They deserve the applause, Providence. They are thoroughly involved in all facets of the game. Of course, Watch Pop Trish. Lewis set this up. You see Trish just waiting for the delivery. Syracuse a good trap this time. Providence is going to keep the ball, but a nice play by Harid and Monroe both to trap Pop Lewis. Pop was close to a five-second count as well. He may have chosen to throw it off a Syracuse player's leg. Conlon, the freshman, will inbound 130 to play first half. Providence College, five points over the number five ranked team in the country. Look at the way they're dragging this zone up. Green will try. Good Duda up on the Duda. offensive board. Loose ball. Sightly rips it away from Lewis. We have got ourselves a heck of a college basketball game. Monroe for two. Uh, he's the only one with the green light. They counted it for two. Jimmy Beheim can't believe it. That was close. Conlon takes it again. Ripped off by Harid up to Monroe in the break. Douglas is ahead. Monroe wants it. Tap from Cycle, he won't go, and Delray Brooks out of the pack. Nice I'd move between the legs. I'd hold for one here. Not pro Providence <laughs> doesn't do that, Bill. Yeah, I would have held for one. 30 seconds left. They get him. Jimmy Beheim wants one right now. Well, he'll He's be up to down three. Right, he'd be happy to go in one down. Up to slow this club down, though. That's right. You say one, they say, what are you, crazy, coach? One what? Monroe glances up at the clock, finds Trish. Arm on the rebound, screen, two, one, lets it fly. Providence College has got themselves a three-point lead. They are happy, to say the least, here in Providence. Their Friars are up three. Let's go back to the studio and Bob Lee. Thank you, Mike. Providence with that 42-39 halftime lead. Saturday, it was Providence on the road at Pitt, playing Pitt very tough down the stretch. Pitt won that game, but PC, far from the pushover it was a couple of years ago. It is off the mat. It is on its feet, and PC is a force to be dealt with. Very tough, especially on that floor. We're at halftime. Good evening. I'm Bob Lee. PC is up by three points. It's Big Monday. We've got Michigan and Purdue. We're six in the country coming up. We're at halftime. We continue in a moment. Last Saturday night, down at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse in Pittsburgh, Providence got off to a seven or eight point halftime lead and looked in grand shape. But then things started to come apart in the second half as the Panthers started to control the boards, also started to run, as you can see, Demetrius Gore with the dunk. Pittsburgh came back to win that game. I remember in that second half on Saturday night, there were a couple of early timeouts by Rick Pitino and another one here tonight. Well, it might be one of two things. One, he doesn't like what he saw their press do. Maybe they didn't react well. I think he called it because Ronnie Cycli got the basketball on the chalk mark in the three-second lane, and he wants to pack it in a little bit. The bench has been a story for Providence College tonight, as it has been all year. Patino running people in and out, and there you can see Syracuse had been getting good production out of the bench. Not tonight. Providence right on target with 14 here and 18.50 still to play in the game. Coleman, the down and out to Trish. Home run. Nice Good play. look for Cycli, but he couldn't handle the pass. Now, Ronnie tried to score before he caught the ball. Nice catchable pass thrown by Howard Trish. Cycli knew it, too. Syracuse dragged everybody up, sent Trish long. Friars by three with the ball. See Brooks beyond the three-point line. Lewis beyond the three-point line. Challenging every one of them. Steve Wright is going to be going at the line for two. A 
a third foul on Howard Trish, and there's a good look at Steve Wright, who is himself a Syracuse native. Uh, Steve should have a field day with the defense challenging the outside shooters and just being able to dribble by. If he can get his feet set, he could finish off a few layups. Wright, a 6'9 junior out of Fowler High School up in Syracuse. Looking for his first point of the night, and he got it. Douglas waves away the help and takes on the Providence pressure himself. A little 2 2 1 in back. Bill, I would think Monroe's got to look for a shot a little more. He has been able to get free. They've been, see Billy Donovan over there tagging him, making sure. Douglas. Oh, he should have shot the one out further, I thought. Guys love to dribble into trouble, and it's always the little guy. Douglas gets his club back to within two. Got Donovan in the corner. Good pass underneath, right the jump hook. That's all set up by this scare and fear of Syracuse on the three-pointer. Douglas beating the pressure by Brooks. Nice bounce pass Monroe. Tough shot won't go. Here's the follow. Forget it. Send it in, Derek. The freshman Coleman now is in double figures with 10. Donovan will try. Conlon tracks down the loose ball. Donovan will try again. Foul Steve Wright reaching in on Trish. Your know, point on the rebounding on the three-point play. Defensively, if you don't put somebody at the foul line, and we were talking to Dean Smith before the Illinois game, he now has his player go to that foul area on the three-pointer to get the long rebound. You notice Providence able to get a second attempt because they're, they weren't they were in a position to get the long rebound. Looped into Douglas. Cycley's ahead of the field. There's the alley-oop. Nice try by Cycley. Got his own rebound. Oh, Got the bucket and a foul. Strength. Perseverance. Real nice catch on the first one, too. He did a good job. He's coming along. Wow, Mental God. approach is real good. Emotionally, as you mentioned, the hands here. Duda doing a good job trying to recover here, but strength by the big guy. Yeah, well, he, he caught it. He put it up nice and softly on that first attempt, and he gets the free throw. Cycli having his biggest offensive night of the season. Syracuse goes up one with 17 minutes to play in the game. Lewis had a thought. Well, they run right at you, Syracuse. Providence is not going to get one without a hand in his face. Nice look. Lewis tries. Loose ball. There's Lewis for the rebound. Great nice effort. Tap. Nice tap. Bob Lewis up with the big people. Wouldn't take no for an answer, and as Providence comes up with the steal. Donovan for three. Oh, they really go after you. You can't relax against this club. A great five-point swing there. Yes. Near steal by Donovan again. Trish penetrates. Offensive foul, Howard Trish. Again, pace. Trish with number four. But it's Patino's pace. They're forcing Syracuse to do things that are uncharacteristic. Well, you see Jim Beheim looking down his bench. He's going to go to Herman Harid again. The fourth foul on Trish. Providence just may go and attack Trish's area right now. I think if he's out by the three-point line. <laughs> Donovan the up fake, bounce pass Lewis. Donovan. I thought he might miss that, it's a little too close. It was a little close for Billy, but that's 10, and the Friars are up six. Circus really needed a break. They are on their feet in Providence. The Friars up by six. 15.42 to go in this one. Providence, as you can see, in the verge of the upset because of plays like this. Well, Pop Lewis following that goal, nailing it right here, the aggressive defense coming up with it. They keep coming at you, Providence. A good look away, but right away they know somebody's home at the three-point line. Billy D. Deep 
extremely tough. Quick release, too. Dunneman just gets it and fires it. And here you can see sticks of 14 three-point shooting for Providence College. Syracuse yet to hit one. And not as many three-pointers because Syracuse attuned to the fact that they're looking for them. Howard Trish with those four fouls, rather, sitting over beside Jim Beheim on the Syracuse bench. There you see Pop Lewis, who keyed that little exchange, a tough follow basket, and then making the initial steal. Lewis, one of the few seniors who really plays a lot in this club, along with Billy Donovan. Man to man straight. Douglas weaving his way through. <laughs> Douglas, top of the key, in and out. There's Coleman. This top. He just sniffs the basketball out. Actually, their half-court offense hasn't been bad. They'd be better beating the press, holding it, and running it. It's when they get scattered that they have their problems. Brooks Peace. will be short with that one. Douglas is going to get a free layup on the other end. Uh, Derek Coleman. Oh, what an oh, outlet. Sherman. What an outlet to set up Douglas. I mean, a freshman, he knew right away that there was an empty backcourt. Quick swings in this ball game as a quick four-point first here by Syracuse has it back to two. Man to man. The orange man. They're gonna better go for it now. Donovan went in the back door. Right, the good effort. Likely the block. Three on one break. Douglas lost it on the way out. Should have been a foul. I don't think I think Douglas got <laughs> He's got to have red marks. Steve Wright is going to get the eventual foul, but you pick them as they come down. Uh, Ronnie Sykley has to be concerned with getting the third one here. Great, Great block. prevent there. I thought they should have snapped the ball back and forth here. Nice ball fake, but no question. German Douglas got whacked right late on a scintillating freshman, Derek Coleman. <laughs> Jimmy's laughing at the non-call. One thing to remember, they're not a real good foul shooting team, Syracuse. Coleman came in a 71% free throw shooter. There you see his numbers on the night. Very, very impressive freshman out of Detroit Northern High School. Shoot 67 as a team, but you got Cycli at, what, 57? Went for the bubble that time, and the lead for Providence stays at two. Cycli at 49. Excuse me. Lewis. There on the weak side. He looks to push it up quickly. Finds Douglas ahead of the field. There's Sightly again. Tipped away nicely by Ernie Lewis. Screen and Donovan on the break. Screen. Douglas pulls it off and starts the other way. This is wild. Just sit and enjoy it, Mike. Aggressive basketball. The three-point play, by the way, can get you out of the game. Providence has to be concerned not to throw them unless they're set. They can ignite a Syracuse break. A Reed looking for Cycli inside. Cycli wants it. Got it. 23 now for Cycli. We're tied at 54. Hey, Syracuse better off walking it up the floor and just pounding it in. They get scattered and upset, make some bad judgments. The Providence is forcing it. Wright will try. Conlon there on the offensive board, but another man-sized rebound taken Just away, away by Coleman. Douglas. Oh! oh Reed with the tip. Oh, I know Bob Wade enjoyed watching that one. And now the Friars with a timeout. 13.07 to play. Syracuse by a deuce. Syracuse up by two. Herman Harid before the game was complaining to me a little pain in his leg. On this play, the pain went away. And that's just great ability, timing and touch. And of course, the half court stuff. You see Cycli, who's worked hard on all the post moves. Syracuse very tough in that half court offense. Cycli, Harid, Monroe, Douglas, and Coleman, as you look at the fine effort by Ronnie Cycli tonight, 23 points, and he's still got a way to go, but in 13 minutes. Conlon, Donovan, Lewis, screen, and Shamsa Dean on the floor for Providence College. Man to man has helped Syracuse get back in it. Donovan short with that one, and Cycli's there. Somebody got a piece of it. Good defense. Monroe will try. 
Sykley on the offensive board. Good fake. Won't go down. And Conlon clears it off to Dunneman. Green will drive through. Rebound the freshman Conlon again. Right spot, right time, and Screen gets it this time. Good play by Marty Con. Just out dug, out worked, and then found somebody at home. Screen with a nice little looking jumper. Monroe just wears Screen on his back into the forecourt. Coleman, baseline for Reed, wants it. Got it, and a foul. And Coleman waiting. They can get whatever they want. Syracuse in that inside game. Good cut. Herman set it up with a real hard flash. A read, an offensive factor of these last couple of minutes. Here comes Delray Brooks back into the game, and screen will go out. With all the great plays, you can't believe there's 12 minutes left. Third foul on Shamsed Dean. The lefty is short with the free throw, but nice job underneath as Dave Kipfer kept it alive after it was nearly tipped out of bounds. Leheim's concern has been the free throw shooting. Harid at 53%. It's been shaky tonight. Yeah. This has gotten them back in a good post defense. Oh, man, with a quick hand. Hold on to your seat. <laughs> what happens in basketball you got to make it you don't want to show Jimmy Beheim saying he fumbled it so what but he did end up walking when he recovered the ball but this is one of those egg on you get your feet together Herman Woo. you lost the luggage and right there you can see the walk a little pie on the mustache lost the luggage I like that <laughs> Side Kipfer, a couple of fakes, got Good. the layup. Good shot. He's man just solid. Kipfer's just a solid player. The man-to-man, -man, after playing a lot of zone, has taken Providence away from the game a little bit. First time they scored on a few trips. Douglas tries to loop it. There's Sykley in traffic. And Delray Brooks is going to pick up the foul. Any seeker where Syracuse is going every time down? There shouldn't be. Oh. No question. Second foul on Brooks, the sixth on Providence College, so they'll be over the limit next time with 11.09. Just two fouls called on Syracuse here in the second half. And there you see the big night that Ronnie Sykley is having. Sykley was playing very well for the United States team before that injury. So we had his best games on France when in France when nobody saw him on TV. <laughs> well, he likes the two. Yes, he does. There's Kipfer. Got it. Relax there. Derek Coleman, a freshman with a freshman defensive play. He hugged the man on one box, trail Kipfer to the low post. Douglas throws it up. It's going to be short. Sherman. Here comes Donovan. Watch him pull up. No, Kipfer is open. Well, Syracuse deserved that because German Douglas didn't use good judgment. Little trouble getting it in. It's tipped, picked off, though, by Harid to Cycli. Foul, Shamsuddin. And Harid with a great pass. I mean a sound pass. Big guys aren't supposed to select the correct pass. Here's the tip. Providence almost comes up with one. Coleman one hand. Now watch a read now. Bounceable, catchable, and he's as excited about the pass as he would have been if he had dunked the ball a couple of moments ago. Tied at 62. You see, when you have a good game, you have a good game. Cycle 7 of 9 from the line, but still a heck of a lot better than 48%. Near steal by Douglas. We're going to have a 10-minute basketball game here, folks. 62 apiece. Billy Kipfer again. Long this time. Nice rebound, Monroe, as he boxed out Duda. Coleman this time, the turnaround. Great set. Cycli just picked up number four. Now I can't fault him for going for that. I thought I had him for three. 
if you see cycling, I like that kind of basketball. Correction, that's, that's just three. three that's what I thought. Jimmy Burr right there. Obviously, there's some body contact, but good effort by Ronnie Cycli. Donovan's open. Kipfer on the offensive board, left-handed. Due to the follow. Got it, a foul. And right now, Ronnie Cycli unable to contest. He's afraid to foul. Coleman, very quiet on that sequence. He's getting the blow because of it. He was not a force at defensive end. Billy with the long one, and Kipfer. You love him because he's such a hard worker, Mike. Due to imposition, you see Cycli backed right under the tin. And that was foul number four on Derek Coleman, who has now gone to the Syracuse bench and is being talked to by Jim Beheim. Three-point play for Yasek Duda. Well, he's a tribute to hard work, isn't he? He sure is. But Donovan gets a lot of ink, which he deserves because he got himself in shape. But Duda as well, in his own way. Steve Thompson, the freshman from Los Angeles, 32 with the ball. Rodney Walker also in the Syracuse lineup. Howard Trish with his four fouls will be back in in a minute. Tip for the steal. Delray Brooks, Lewis for three. Got it. Oh, and they delay. It's like a secondary answer to a break. Time out on the floor. 9-10 to go in the game. Providence by six. We are back. The Friars are up by six, nine minutes to go in this one. Well, you like to get back on defense, but when you sink too far against PC, they put their feet together early in the morning. Everybody surrounds that three-second line, and when they're perking, what's oh, a lot of pressure on you. Another dandy coming up on Wednesday night. St. John's in Georgetown, number 10 and number 16 in the country. One of the biggest rivalries in the Big East and one of the better rivalries in the country. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on ESPN. I'm the Hoyas and Redmen. I'm a little upset at John Thompson. His clubs never shot that poorly when I was coaching. And they had a rough Saturday, but I don't think that's going to be good news for St. John's. Cycli with 27, a career high, leading the way for Syracuse. Kipfer with 14. Eight of those 14 coming here in the second half, and the Friars with a six-point bulge. Thompson and Douglas face the pressure, and they clear it to Walker. 2-2-1 two, two, again. Back into the matchup. Inside, Walker blocking foul is called on Duda. Now you got to have a strong official in this kind of game because... There's so much contact. You've got to know when a man forces it into a walk by a foul, as Duda did at that point. And Rodney Walker's going to find himself at the free throw line. Again, only four fouls on Syracuse. Providence long since over the limit. So free throw shooting, which has not been a great ally to Syracuse tonight, will go a long way in determining the outcome of this game. Ball stolen underneath Thompson, and he will now go to the line. Well, there's a, Thompson, a big rebound. The inside move, Jim Beheim said he played a lot of forward in high school like Crenshaw. He looked it there. Good hang time. Put that in left hand. Fully extended. Due to picking up his second foul this trip. And Steve Thompson, a 66% free throw shooter so far this year. Twice the Los Angeles Player of the Year. And Jim Beheim at Syracuse had some great success recruiting out on the West Coast, bringing Steve Thompson out here. And a lot of it, he claims, due to ESPN. Kids out there getting a chance to see the Orangemen. Very helpful to his program. Of course, Thompson, a... home from practice, watch a game. That, exactly. Silver medalist for the 86 Olympic Festival. Rodney Walker holding that left hand. makes the first, his first point of the night. Syracuse bench, though, yet to respond. Only six points off the bench, including that one. Providence leads 
stays at five. Now, Providence has to keep going in terms of tempo. They can't relax. That's not their style. Delray Brooks outside. Tapped by Kipper. Good trap here. They make them up with something. They came up with a timeout is what they came up with. Sherman Douglas saw there was no place to go. He called time. And the Providence press is starting to rattle Syracuse. Friars by seven. Welcome back to Providence. As you can see, everybody is here for this one tonight. I didn't realize Steve Bornstein was off tonight. Came down to the main office. Carrying the flag. College basketball action continues here on ESPN. The Temple Owls with great shooters Nate Blackwell and Howard Evans look for their fourth straight trip to the NCAA. Temple is one heck of a basketball team, and they will be taking on Kansas, followed by Maryland and North Carolina. Don't go out Thursday night. Rolly Massimino, of course, lost to Temple twice. He was saying how tough they were. That was Dave Kipfer there. And look at the bench scoring. Providence, a 13-point bulge off the bench. They lead by seven. Syracuse struggling tonight with the reserves. Great trap on that last inbounds pass. Providence looking to tighten it up a little bit. And Jim Beheim rolling some dice here. Derek Coleman and Howard Trish, both with four fouls on the floor with 8.24 to play. Douglas hits baseline. <laughs> Douglas now with a dozen. The Providence lead five. Syracuse man to man. Most of the second half. Again, something you pointed out just a moment ago, Bill. Providence really, I think it's too early for them to start looking at the clock. Well, what helps Syracuse with the long shooting, the big guys won't foul unless it's on a rebound. Great pressure by Monroe, forcing that deeper pass. Duda comes out to help. Providence down to 15 seconds on the shot clock. Donovan just waving some people away. I don't think this is on purpose. I think it's better Syracuse defense. Five, four, three, two, Brooks won't get down. Tapped oh, up. Oh. <laughs> I guess Duda will get it. He was the nearest player. I think Cycli may have gotten a piece of it. Kick out of bounds there. The pressure defense giving Syracuse fits right now. Well, they gave it to Brooks. Well, gave it to Delray. Give him 11. More importantly, put the flyer lead back at 7. They passed by Coleman. It was a little bit of a wish, wasn't it? Ooh. There you see the time. Offensive trips becoming important for Syracuse. Trish leans in. It's got to score to be a goaltend on Duda. You can see they can get the ball they want there. Their biggest problem has been shot selection after beating the press. Donovan just walking up. Friars really have calmed down a bit. Little down screen by Kipfer for Donovan. Duda takes it to Cycling. Lost it on the way up, and Trish has got the rebound. Off to Douglas. He's got Monroe. Good pass! Score the basket, but a nifty Big pass. Time. Oh, Sherman Douglas, gorgeous. And the only one off the floor. Boy, this is just excellent. Off the dribble, off the floor, catchable. Greg Monroe with the chippy. The foul goes on. Pop Lewis is third. Monroe at the free throw line. Missing the free throw. Again, free throws could well turn out to be the difference in this game. And he's an 81% shooter. It's contagious. Donovan lost it on the way through, and it's going to be Syracuse basketball. Coleman, the inbound, tipped away, but Syracuse will keep it. You know, you see Derek Coleman, he's putting the ball over his head. You gotta keep it down so you can adjust. You can bring the ball back and make another pass. See if he does it again. Yeah, it's way over his head. 
Oh, my steal by Brooks, but Monroe coming up with the loose ball. Left-handed dribble into the forecourt, nearly lost it. That crowd sure thought he lost Good it. Good non-call, though. Syracuse can get to one. Douglas goes. Nice penetration. 14 now for Douglas, who is coming alive here down the stretch. It's a one-point game. No one's getting out of this building easy tonight, though. Donovan. Due to the follow. Douglas the long rebound. Foul Lewis in the backcourt. And for Lewis, suddenly that's number four. They, uh, Syracuse has to be concerned about one thing if this goes down for a while. Derek Coleman inbounding the ball. He's got his problems, and it's stemming from putting the ball over his head. And when he can run the baseline, he doesn't run it. He stands still. Here's a look at Derek Coleman. Conlon, as you saw back in the Providence lineup, tip for one now. Sherman Douglas knocks in the free throw. That doesn't mean I wouldn't take Derek Coleman, by oh, the way. Oh, no. I didn't go pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Syracuse grabs back the lead as Steve Wright checks in the lineup. I used to go recruit in Detroit. I used to come home with a record. Never a player like him. Carlton Screen, the freshman in the backcourt now. Donovan stays out there with him. Conlon Wright and Lewis fill out the Providence five. There goes Screen, tough shot. Oh Loose my. underneath, someone goes down hard. Wright, the rebound won't go. And another of those man-sized rebounds by Coleman. Sherman Douglas off to Cycli, foul Lewis, and he's out of the ballgame. Hop Lewis close to a sensational block there. He may have had all ball. You said this is number five. It is. Hop Lewis really didn't have much choice. Good run by the big guy, though, and Douglas getting to him. This looks, oh my goodness. That was a nice athletic move. I mean, first time around, I block. didn't see it that way. So Lewis with 13 points, fouls out of the game with 5.30 to play. Ronnie Cycli wants a copy of this tape to take home. Knocks in point number 28. And he just got a cramp on that free throw. Yeah, sure did. Like the cramp is still there, too, the way he's moving up the floor. Syracuse by three, 520 as you see to go in the game. Donovan looking to even the score with one shot. You know, it's funny, Billy Donovan could get more of those NBA fouls where you pump and dip under. They go way up in the air after him. Donovan a runner. Loose ball. Oh, should be Douglas. But that's the kind of play we've seen all night. All out hustle for the free basketball. Both clubs. Second foul on Douglas. And five on the team, so Providence will not be shooting for a while. Kipfer is coming back in. He has had a whale of a second half for Providence College. Again, a 6'7 senior out of Kitchener, Ontario. Bruce is not all sized, doesn't he? Little 2 3 now. Change. Syracuse with the lead going zone. Nice good high pass. low. Good pass. Handler very well. Near steal by Donovan. Douglas, no room on the baseline, and Donovan picks up the foul. Douglas trying to tightrope that sideline. Donovan is some competitor. Close to taking away the sideline. Just couldn't get there in time. So Douglas will go to the line. Sherman Douglas, you see the third personal foul on Billy Donovan. Douglas has 10 second half points and has just about reached his average of 16.9 a game. Make it point eight. Syracuse by a deuce. Tough shoes to fill coming into the backcourt at Syracuse with the pearl gun on. Hopefully the bigger and better things. Yeah, you and I saw a lot of Biggie's games last year, Bill, and you saw the glimpses when Douglas got a chance to play. Great speed. Can beat the guy straight up with the dribble. 
Washington, D.C. High School Player of the Year, so there wasn't much doubt he could play. Spring Arn High, Dave Bing, Dave Bing's old Elgin team. Baylor. Elgin Baylor, too. Yeah. I'm not that old. <laughs> Donovan finds Brooks out beyond the three-point line. Good defense. Nice steal. Monroe up quickly to Douglas. Wright is with nice him. Nice play. Pass. Heads up. Gets seven assists a game. That's knowing where your teammates are. Syracuse now by five. 408 to go in the game. Brooks will try. He got it. Quick timeout by Providence. 402 left to play. Rick Patino wanting to talk it over. His club down by three here at home. 79-76. It has been a while since the Providence Civic Center has jumped like it has jumped tonight. Such a swing in games, too, Mike. All of us in the game, Providence would have a commanding lead, playing good basketball. All of a sudden, Syracuse makes a run. All right, don't forget, there is more good Big East basketball coming up here on ESPN this week. The Georgetown Hoyas, led by the preseason Big East Player of the Year, Reggie Williams. And a lot of other players who you may not know now, but you'll know come February and March. That one is coming up. 8 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. Now, St. John's didn't play well against Villanova, particularly in the first 10 minutes. But they're a fine basketball team and getting deeper. He's got some people on the bench, but Villanova growing each game. I mean, they're coming on. Well, he's got his kids playing very well. All right, let's take a look at the numbers from tonight's game. Foul trouble coming up here. You see Coleman and Trish, they have played the last four and a half minutes with four fouls. Cycling, well, three's not going to hurt him too much now, we wouldn't think. Lewis is already gone for Providence. Wright and Shamsuddin with four apiece. And Kipfer with three. That is not really trouble for Providence College in the sense that Patino's going to play 11 guys anyway. So. Well, here's the problem area. Coleman inbounding. Let's see. Providence is able to come up with one. Bad pass. Knocked away by Steve Wright out of bounds. And Syracuse will get to keep it. Wright should have grabbed Threw into the, double coverage there, yeah, didn't he? Even... He should have grabbed the basketball. It's not football you bang it down. That was a steal for Providence. Like Bernie Kozar in the fourth quarter on Saturday. Derek Coleman kicks it back out to Trish. She'll take it. And hit it. The foul's going to go on Kipper. Nice touch pass by Derek Coleman. Saw the traffic. Banged it right back out to Howard Trish. Big shot by Trish. He's got 10. Well, when the defender turns, you should slide to a spot. You see Trish? Now when the defender returns, you're not where you were when he initially was playing you. Trish makes this, and Syracuse will have the biggest lead of the night. Syracuse, again, coming in fifth in the country. Free throws. There's going to be a lot of kids in the dome standing at the line here in the next couple of days. With a whip. Good help by Coleman. It's pretty good hedger defensively. Darrell Wright for Providence trying to kick it out. And Great Coleman. Read. Mm. Some good instincts. Just keep the ball from over your head when you're inbounding dirty. Well, a couple of scouting services said Derek Coleman as Kipper goes down low. Short with that one. Syracuse gets the ball. Cycling with a good read as well going down to a piece of that. I started to say a couple of scouting services had said that Coleman might be the best freshman to go to Syracuse since Dave Bing. Now that's pretty heady stuff, but... They lay a lot of heavy things on young guys, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do. Let them relax. But this kid can play. Yeah, he can. And Jimmy said he struggles against the zone. I haven't seen it yet. Syracuse has decided now they're going to take advantage of the cock with their five-point lead. Monroe looking for help. Cycling comes and gives it. Stripped by Kipfer. Got it back in traffic. Three seconds or five seconds? Take your pick, huh? I think he put five down. He held it a long time. Now, this is a case in point. I'm not a big fan of the 45-second clock. I think it's an eternity. I'd like to see it come down to 35. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll pick up on that <laughs> next Monday night, All okay? Right. I think it slows the tempo of the game down. 
Donovan passes up the three and goes back to Darrell Wright. Nice hit for the offensive board. What a follow. He had no right to get in there. Syracuse is asleep. He's just a sound player. Bounce pass. Trish! And the foul is going to go on Steve Wright. Steve, a little extra on that. Yeah, I thought so, too. And Wright, well, Wright's gone Not now. Not necessary. So yeah. Douglas showing some great form on the break. He really gets it to the side here because he's red Trish. He's taking Cycle's lane away. I just thought, well, maybe not. Maybe not. No. Right. Maybe not. Well, they're saying that's only four on Steve Wright. My error again. And so Trish knocks home the free throw. Howard now with 11. More importantly, his club's lead is four. No need to remind fans with the three-point shot and the way Providence throws them up. That is not a safe lead by any means. Five with 2.18 to play. Donovan penetrates when they give it to him and hits the layup. Of course, knowing he's looking for three makes it a little easier. Trish that walked with it. Caught it and walked with it. Well, that's Douglas, in a sense, could have brought it down and just settled. You've got control with three. Just be a little more patient. See what the Friars look for. Donovan penetrates again to right. Cycle is going to pick up number four. Right. He didn't believe it at all. Good use of the dribble now. And it's all because of three-point ability. Cycle, who earlier had helped. You see here, he thought. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe got him with the body. Maybe. Again, the dribble setting all of that anguish up. Being able to shoot the three, Syracuse has to respect it. Right looking to get it to a one-point game. That was nearly an offensive goal, Tim. Cycle coming away with the boards off quickly to Douglas. Three on one break. Donovan's got them all. Great non-call by the officials, too. Billy hitting the deck just to attract attention. Once again, Douglas running that break to perfection. Kipper, they're going to call the walk. Yes, they are. The up fake is gone from college basketball. No, that and the crossover move. Need a steal here, Providence. Got to run a good trap. That's what Douglas has to do. Control it a little bit. A little spread, use the clock. The clock very much the ally now of the Syracuse Orangemen. Have to be careful of the five-second call. Monroe with Brooks on him. Trish comes out to help. Good motion now. Up and down screening by Syracuse. Trish found a spot and picked up a foul. Excellent execution then. That's on Dave Kipfer. That's five. Yes, it is. Kipfer fouls out of the ball game unofficially with 18 points. And they've got a star of the night here in Providence for the Friars. That's the star right there. He had himself a heck of a game. There's no timeout here. Rick Pitino getting a freebie. Of course, he got the time for the uh, substitute. Sorry, 30 seconds. This, does this in every game. Whenever one of his players foul out, which is not an uncommon occurrence with the Friars, he takes the 30 seconds and uses it as almost a mini timeout. Smart. Setting up both ends. Yep. Marty Conlon is going to replace Kipfer again, <laughs> who left with 18 now points. Mayheim's getting even. He's keeping him a little longer. Howard Trish will be at the line. Trish, a 74% free throw shooter. 106 to play. His club's up by four. Five. The glue. 13 for Trish, who's had nine in the second half. E. Douglas and Cycli have been the offense in the second half. Providence needs the three. Brooks is going to take it. What Brooks an effort. After his own rebound, and Coleman's fouled out of the game. 
Mel Ray Brooks. Pretty good reaction. You're going to be a great player, young man. Whew. 14 points for Derek Coleman, but that was foul number five. And Jim Beheim now is telling the team, hey. Yeah, he's going to use the, uh, you know what, this will be a new role next year. You have to stay on the floor. They got the 30 to saying stay off the floor. Well, officials That's are going to be carrying stopwatches and whistles too, I guess. You know, when we were down in Carolina, another thing that Dean Smith brought up was he believes when the whistle's blown to come back out the floor, put the ball down, and if you don't get back out, you know how the teams delay and stay a little right. longer. Put the ball down, put let the you inbound. Yeah, yeah, and start your five-second count. You know, I like that. Well, it, it sort of speeds up play. Yeah. I don't think this game needs a lot of tinkering, but yeah, it's okay. But smart basketball, you yeah. take advantage of the rule right here. You see the timeouts mm -hmm. one apiece with 55 seconds to play. Jimmy concerned about how they inbound the ball. Don't forget more basketball coming up as Brooks makes the free throw. We'll be headed out to Purdue to see Michigan and Purdue with Mike Patrick and Dick Vitale as soon as this game is completed. Hope Dick's pumped up. You think he will be? Dick, Dick wakes up pumped oh. up. Great enthusiasm. Douglas now, 49 seconds, four points for Reed. Misses the dunk and gets an offensive foul. Well, it's not so much the question of the call. It's the judgment of Herman Harid. And again, you don't need a shot right now. Keep the ball out, Sherman. I know it looks good. And it makes you feel good, but look what happened. You can't leave anything to chance when you got a lock on a ball game. Providence looking to pick that lock right now. 87-83. Donovan pops out. Wright will try. Long with it. Conlon, a good offensive board, sent back by Harid. Picked off by Donovan. And boy, did they let him play there. And an offensive foul goes on Billy Donovan. For Providence, the wrong guys are ending up with the three-point play. And Agree. Billy Donovan trying to get a little more out of the dribble at half court. Whoops, official just slipped on the spot right here. Heads up play by Sherman Douglas. He's in position. I think it was a nickel dimer, though. I'd let it go. Yeah. Would have been their ball anyhow because it fell off of Billy Donovan's leg. And it comes to Steve Thompson, the freshman now Monroe. 24 seconds left in the game. Four-point game, Syracuse the ball in the lead. Trish is fouled by Donovan. Jimmy Beheim with the three guards in the ball game for ball handling. They went after Trish, the senior captain, which I'm a little surprised with the foul. Reed is coming back in, Thompson comes out. And now they need the rebounding, so they take Thompson out. And Billy Donovan committed his fifth foul. Would have thought they might have gone after Thompson in the backcourt if, they, if they, the decision was to foul. Marty Conlon did, but they didn't call it. And it should have been an intentional foul back here. It was that bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there you see Billy Donovan, who will have more nights and will be back this Big oh. East season. Just terrific to watch him. Maximizes his ability. Sure does. I mean, people kid him about it around Providence here, but... Two and a half years ago, Billy Donovan was fat and slow. He just is not that anymore. Really worked hard, lost about 20 pounds. Everybody's respect in the league. Yes, indeed. Two big free throws there by Howard Trish. The Friars need a couple three-pointers, and they need him in a hurry. Someone's going to have to put it up. Screen throws up a runner, draws a foul, which stops the clock. <laughs> Herman Harid, who missed the dunk, again making a mistake. The foul, stopping the clock. You Herman the does game. not want to sit through the final two minutes of this game on tape. He's saying, Coach, give me more minutes. I won't make those mistakes. Thompson's going to come back in. Shamsad Dean is coming in for Providence College. Wright and Harid go to their respective benches. Rick Pitino will coach the Sox off this game right down to the final buzzer. First look I've had of Harine, too. I really haven't had a good look at him. He's, he's got some ability. Screen missing the first. 89-83, the Syracuse lead six. Got to set that press up, go for a trap, and give one right away. Well, you got to make the both. first. Conlon, a big rebound. Cycli sends it back. 
what a night he's had. Screen now. Off to Conlon, nearly traveled, takes it in traffic. Underneath, right, the rebound, the basket, the foul, no foul, rather, the timeout with one second on the clock. Good instinct with the timeout. We're going to have a quick commercial break, and then we'll be back 89-85, Syracuse by four. Trish inbounds to Douglas, who just holds on, and that will do it. The Syracuse Orangemen survive a scare. They go to 13-0 in the season, 2-0 in the Big East, and the final score, 89-85. Syracuse, the winner. For my partner, Bill Raftery, I'm Mike Gorman. ESPN's College Basketball, Syracuse and Providence, brought to you by Budweiser.